zum Beispiel Bratislava, die Hauptstadt der Slowakei. Dort gibt es eine schöne Altstadt, typisch K und K, Mittelalter bis 19. Jahrhundert. Was aber besonders auffällt, ist die Art und Weise, wie die Moderne, wie die Zeit nach 1945 in diese Stadt im wahrsten Sinn des Wortes hineinschneidet. Zum Beispiel hier die neue Brücke mit ihrem futuristischen Restaurant oben auf der Spitze des Turms. Die Rampe dieser Straße führt mitten durch die ehemalige Altstadt knapp am Dom vorbei und dort hinten oben sieht man nur noch einen kleinen Rest der ehemaligen jüdischen Altstadt. Oder zum Beispiel auch das Slowakische Nationalmuseum, hier mit einem Bau der Spätsechziger, 70er Jahre, einer brutalistischen Architektur sondergleichen, die vor ein altes Palais gesetzt worden ist. Die Slowakische Nationalgalerie ist seit gut 14 Jahren geschlossen wegen Baufälligkeit. Jetzt gibt es Hoffnungen, erneut Hoffnungen, dass es zu einer Restaurierung dieses Architekturdenkmals der zweiten Moderne kommen könnte. Und jetzt ins Studio von Roman Ondak. Roman, what is Bratislava? What kind of city is Bratislava for an artist to live here? What are the advantages and the disadvantages? Oh, I mean, there. I think every city or every place where any artist live could be a good place or the best place where to produce some art or to really um, find your your inspiration and Bratislava is like that. I mean, it's a super complicated city, not only historically, but um, at present it's not the ideal place uh, for maybe younger artists to start, you know, or to to believe that this could be a place where to be based. But for me, it's, it's a place to escape to, you know, so that's what I like about Bratislava a lot. Mm -hmm that I can really concentrate on my work. Have you ever thought about going to another place and settle there? Mm, not really, not really. I, 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 I was thinking about this in the past, but then I actually, I, anytime I return back to Bratislava, I realized that this is really a um, place where you feel this uh, you know, tabula rasa situation. Every moment you start, you feel like the table is, is clean, you know, mm -hmm. that, uh, that there is nothing uh, which could uh, disturb your mind somehow, which sounds like disadvantage, but it could be something what, mm -hmm. what is uh, very positive. At least for me, I, mm -hmm. I feel it like that. But you also have artists' friends in the city, so they have a, your small community. Absolutely, of course. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's quite a vivid place, but I mean, officially, you wouldn't find um, like good official institutions or institutions which would uh, work internationally. So if you if you find some uh, um, places which show maybe interesting art, they're mostly artist-run places, you know, or or very. It's not really underground, but places which are unofficial or, or could be a flat of someone or, or could be a place which they rent and they show, show art. But I think this is not uh, something what is, you know, counterproductive because it depends from which side you look at it. And nowadays you can travel anywhere, so going to Vienna takes you one hour. So. It's, it's like being a sh in a shadow, in a good sense of the word, you know, to, mm -hmm. to be um, in, in a rare part of, 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 of a building and uh, still have uh, advantages of, of its potential. That, that's my feeling. It's maybe also about this studio, or if it's, it's not uh, fancy, or, but it has this energy, it's still um, 
bears anything what what I've told you about, about the factory, about the past, about present situation when most of the artists have moved in this area and no one else wants because it's so <laughs> inattractive, you know? <laughs>